What's up guys? It's Cassie and Sarah and today we are talking about the mystery of Jack the Ripper. I'm Cassie. I'm Sarah. And if you like murder mysteries, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. Today is our very first video of our new, new series. series. We're so, so excited. Ooh. We know we've made you guys wait literally we weeks. Yeah, because there's always been something that came up. Like, <sighs> what, the first one was I got sick. sick. Like, I could not leave my toilet bowl. No. <laughs> and then last awful. weekend we had my brother's wedding, so Ooh. there was no, like, filming yeah. to be done. We were running all over the place. Um, and we just, we felt so bad that we couldn't yes. put out a new video. We were like, oh my so we're gosh. like, we didn't we say, we're gonna put one out and then it just yeah. like, couldn't. We felt so bad. But we're here. It's we're fine. Happening. We're healthy. Uh, mostly, mostly healthy. Look at our cups. We, we customize We customize cups. They like, say Cassie and Sarah on them. And we fuzz on mine. Murder mysteries with... Yeah. That's kind of what we're calling our series. Um, if somebody else has already done that, I'm sorry we didn't steal it from you. It's just what popped into the knob. Let's get into it. You ready? Woo! Jack the Ripper is one of England's and the world's most infamous criminals. Jack the Ripper got his name from a number of letters that were sent in to the police. These killings started in August of 1888 and continued to November 1888. It took place near Whitechapel District of London's East End. Each of the killings happened within one mile of each other. In total, Jack the Ripper killed five women and mutilated their bodies in a strange manner. These five murders are known as the Canonical Five. Around the same time, there were other murders occurring that were suspected to be done by Jack the Ripper, but are still unconfirmed. Because of how he mutilated their bodies, it was suspected that the killer had a decent amount of knowledge about the human anatomy. Jack the Ripper would mutilate and disembowel women, remove organs like the kidneys and the uterus, or uteri, however you want to say it. All five women that we're focusing on were prostitutes except for Elizabeth Stride. This portrayed that the murderer hated the female gender. So what do you think about that? I think that like, it's possible that the murderer probably was a doctor. Yeah. Or something similar because, well, Jack the Ripper was a doctor or something because if he knew how to remove all that stuff yeah. without shredding everything or maybe he wasn't a doctor but he was like like, like an aristocrat or whatever and he had that like wealth not, and was able to oh, get that knowledge like an education study. yeah oh. like an education so that's possible the first murder took place on the 31st of august 1888 when mary ann nichols was killed oh mary ann <laughs> she was last seen alive at 2 30 a.m walking alone down Osborne Street, looking for a way to make money to pay for rent, likely by po prostitution. prostitution. I forgot how to talk today, apparently. Likely by <laughs> prostitution. <laughs> prostitution. It appeared that she was drunk at the time because she was stumbling around. At 3.40 a.m., her body was discovered by two men. They found her on her back with her skirt raised above her knees. Mm. And at 4.30 a.m., the doctor for the police at the time arrived and discovered that two deep knife wounds had been cut across her throat and come to the conclusion that she had been dead for about 30 minutes. Okay, but I think, I think it's interesting like how they found her. So she was laying on her back with her skirt above her knees. So do you think possibly Jack the Ripper was like... Um, I don't know. There were, there's like no evidence. Like, yeah. they couldn't find anything to prove that there was any, like, sexual. sexual whatever going on. By the way she was found, I would say that he either disliked women who did that mm -hmm. or something, something. I don't know. Anyone who had found or came in contact with Nichols that night was interrogated but later let go, seeing as there was no foul play. They also talked with residents nearby and found that no one had seen or heard anything out of the ordinary that fateful night. The coroner found that she had bruises on her face as if the killer had grabbed a hold of her before cutting her throat. He also found that her female body parts had been stabbed multiple times and had been cut across her abdominal area. No one was suspected of this murder, however. Even though Nichols was seen as the first victim, it is possible that there was one before that, and her name was Martha Tabram, who was murdered a few weeks earlier, but they didn't think that it really fit in with the Jack the Ripper's mold or his profile. Profile, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I'm sorry! 
Criminal Minds does come in handy. <laughs> and she wasn't counted as one of the canonical five because, like she said, it doesn't fit in his profile. So they're just kind of like, eh, eh we're going to toss her aside. But she was murdered by, by somebody multiple weeks earlier. There it came up behind her and then cut her throat or was face to face with her. He had some he had anger towards... Anger. Maybe his mother was a prostitute. I feel like that's mainly like... It's very possible. I feel he, like that's always like, my mother was a prostitute, yeah. and, you know, she was murdered like that. And Or he was angry that his mom was a prostitute and wasn't giving him enough attention, or he didn't like that she was... I think I we just know. solved it. We solved the case. We, d oh, we didn't even clink. We solved it. <laughs> no need to go further. Just kidding, we're too stupid to solve a murder case. <laughs> <laughs> the second supposed murder of Jack the Ripper is Annie Chapman, who was murdered on September 8th, 1888. In the early morning of September 8th, she was out trying to earn money in order to pay for lodging by pro prostitution. Mm. At about 5.30 a.m., Chapman was seen talking with a man who appeared to be about 40 years old, dark hair, and a foreign appearance. Then, 30 minutes later, at 6 a.m., her body was discovered out back near the yard of 29 Hanbury Street. When the doctor arrived at the scene, he immediately found similarities in the murder of Mary Nichols and Annie Chapman. Chapman was also cut along the throat and her abdomen. A blade of similar size and design was used for both murders. Many people testified in what they saw that night and of the character of Chapman. Similar to the first murder, many of the tenants that lived in the house of 29 Hanbury Street did not hear or see anything suspicious. Again, no one was suspected of this murder. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna assume the was screaming for her life. How is nobody gonna hear that? Not necessarily. Like, like I said with the last one with um, Nichols, if he came up behind her and just, you know, cut her throat, she wouldn't have had time. I do I find just, it interesting I, that nobody heard anything. Like not or at even least one person being like out. I, like, I know, but maybe someone was, but they don't. They didn't find the witness. You know what I mean? Yeah. The next two murders of Jack the Ripper were Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Eddowes on September thirtieth, eighteen eighty-eight. Is that how you pronounce your last name? Ed I think it's Edison. Wait, did you? No, it's Eddowes. You put Edison. Oh, good. It's Eddowes. Okay. okay, Elizabeth Stride. At 12.35 a.m., Stride was seen talking with a man outside of a men's club. However, the interaction did not seem suspicious. Then, at 1 a.m., her body was discovered by the steward of the men's club in the yard across the way. When her body was found, she was still warm, leading the police to believe that the killer may have been interrupted by the steward. The murder of Elizabeth Stride doesn't fit into the same mold as the other murders. She was the only one of the five canonical murders who was not <laughs> severely mutilated. Like we said before, that Elizabeth, um, we do count her as one of the canonical five, right? But, yeah, but since she wasn't mutilated, like... They don't know for sure because it wasn't the same. Yeah, but they're thinking he got interrupted during yeah. his, doing his dirty deed and... Yeah, because she was Couldn't still warm when, when he, when, oh my gosh. Because she was still warm when she was found, they think that the steward coming, what does the steward do? Pick people up? Escort people? Yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what a steward I don't during this time did. I don't know We're planes. stupid. We don't know. It is believed by some historians that Stride was not actually murdered by Jack the Ripper and was murdered by someone else entirely. Can't be here. However... The reason that some believe she is one of Jack the Ripper's victims is because her murder took place less than one hour before his next victim, Catherine Eddowes. These two murders were within walking distance of each other. However, both women were found to have slash wounds across their throats, and this is what leads people to believe that Stride was indeed one of the canonical five. People did testify to what they saw that night, but no one was suspected of murdering Elizabeth Stride. Okay, so her throat was cut. Yeah, so her throat was cut, but like we said, she wasn't mutilated, so... But if she was in walking distance, and he didn't, like... You know on, like, Criminal Minds, they talk about how if they can't fulfill mm -hmm. their 
need or whatever for the kill, they'll like, then they'll move. Do so that's probably yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's probably what happened. I was just gonna yeah. say that like since you know he couldn't get his deed done, yeah. gotta go to Catherine Eddowes. Yeah, Le less than an hour later, and within walking distance. So yeah. within walking distance, dude. That's that's a dangerous game to play. Dangerous. Catherine Eddowes. The day before her murder, Catherine Eddowes was taken into custody for lying drunk in the road. When she was sober enough to leave the station in the early morning of September 30th, she headed home. She was last seen alive at 1.35 a.m. by three male witnesses who had just left a club and was also seen talking with a man outside of a church prior to her death. At 1.45 a.m., Eddowes' mutilated body was found by a policeman. Her throat was cut as well as disfigurement to the face and part of the intestines were removed and laid next to the body, and one of her kidneys was also removed. The coroner who looked at the body reported that whoever had done this clearly had extensive knowledge of the human anatomy. So, reading this, I think he was very upset about the yeah. previous one. He mutilated her face. And he put the, the intestines, intestines outside the body. He, I, he was definitely, in, like, pissed off. Yeah, or he... It, like, built up even more his, like, need to murder somebody. So he, like, went a little... He went a little more too than he had before. It seems like he was angry for all of these. Yeah. You know, or... Most definitely. I don't know if anger drove him or something else, but... He was definitely angry that he got interrupted because he attacked her face and her body, and put her intestines outside her body, which he hadn't done for anybody else. The last of the five canonical murders of Jack the Ripper is Mary Jane Kelly, who was murdered on November 9th, 1888. Just like the rest of the victims, Kelly was also an active prostitute, mm. besides Elizabeth Stride. At 2 a.m. on November 9th, she had asked a friend to borrow money. After the first friend said no, Kelly was approached by a man that seemed as though he was out of place in that part of the town. She eventually invited this man into her home and was last seen by her friend at 2.45 a.m. Her body was officially found at 10.45 a.m. Unlike the rest of the victims, she was murdered inside the single furnished room she rented, whereas the others were murdered outside. She invited a strange man that she just met, which, I mean, is what they do, but she invited him inside her home. Which so. is already dangerous. So he must have been charming enough. She possibly could have known him. Like, maybe she's met him yeah. once before. But, you know, they don't know that. Yeah, because no one knew who he was. So they couldn't say if she knew him. Yeah, or like you said, he was just charming as heck. Because she was murdered inside, her killer had more time to mutilate her body. Which looks like it took about two hours to complete. When the police went back to talk to witnesses, some said that they remembered hearing faint cries of murder, murder in the early morning, but thought nothing of it because it was common where they lived. Another witness claimed that she heard someone leaving the apartment complex around 5.45 a.m., but again, thought nothing of it. Okay. You're telling me. Two hours. Well, I mean, if she was mutilated bad enough and he took his time this was his last victim so that, maybe he was planning this to be his last victim so he wanted to make it like yeah. extra special well we think it was his last victim there were other murders that happened but they didn't fit into the mold of jack the ripper yeah they're so thinking they just, maybe like a copycat but like yeah but you're telling me that even though it's common that you hear people scream murder in your uh, apartment complex or your area, you're just going to ignore that? I mean, I get it. If it's like a sketchy area, maybe. No. If, even if it's If a you hear murder and you live in a sketchy area, you're going to be like, gonna let me go police. investigate. No, I ain't going to go oh. investigate. I'm going to go find a police woman yeah. or man. You would think somebody would have. People are very nosy I want to say so like you would think that if someone heard murder or heard people leaving the apartment complex after hearing the word murder, murder you know someone would be like checking it out because people yeah are known to be nosy there's been a lot of speculation into who could be the murderer plenty of historians and ripperologists have come up with theories on who Jack the Ripper really is however Jack the Ripper was never caught 
and is thought to have not killed anyone since November 1888. This story continues to fascinate and horrify those who choose to look into it. I think the just the whole thing is crazy. The fact that he murdered so many women within such a small area. They were all right in the white chapel, chapel district. Yeah, which I can't I don't think it was very big. No, it was a couple not. miles apart. I think it's interesting that they didn't really have any suspects at all. Right? Like I know there's a lot of things that we might have kept out of the story, but this was like the main story and I would have included if there was really any suspects but there mm -hmm. weren't no. like every time they were like oh got nothing the only like kind of suspect they could have had was um the person who sent in the letters claiming to be oh, Jack the yeah. Ripper um I know we didn't touch much on that but we figured we could just kind of talk about it uh someone sent in letters to the police department claiming to be Jack the Ripper which was how he got his name because that's what he the signed sign it is. as which is interesting. At first, they thought it could be him. It could actually be Jack the Ripper. But yeah. then they were like, why would you? It, it didn't really, like, line up with the murders and kind of, like, mm. what everyone was saying. So they kind of just blew it off. They're like, eh. He still gained the name Jack the Ripper. But yeah. they didn't get any good suspects or anything from that. Who do you think that Jack the Ripper could be? From the story, like... Got anything? Any? Do you have any like theories? I feel like he was a doctor. I feel like yeah. he was a tall, like stocky build. Mm -hmm. like, he had to be strong in order to like mutilate them and cut through. Yeah, they say it's very, very difficult to like stab someone repeatedly, which yeah, is so... what he did to their face and then their body. Yeah, the face. So like he had to have been pretty strong in order to accomplish that. I definitely think. Like we said, it was either a doctor or someone who had schooling of some kind. I think maybe we were close to kind of what we were hitting on before with, like, his mom or maybe, mm -hmm. like, a woman in his life um, had been a prostitute or had been... Tr or treated him poorly. Yeah. Like, a woman treated him poorly or, like, abused him in some form like that and she was a prostitute or he portrayed the woman as a prostitute because... He would have to in order to go after a certain victim unless he thought that they would be easier yeah. to kill because they were more open to meeting random people. So maybe he thought in his mind, oh, it's going to be easier for me to go for these people because they're already going to want to talk to me. Yeah, they're already looking for... Yeah. Like an interaction from mm -hmm. somebody, so... What he did after that, did, did he just go into like... Did he just go back to normal life? Either, like, he just went back to, like, if he is a doctor, just went back to being a doctor. Did he go into, like, was it seclusion? What is it, seclusion? Mm -hmm. Like, out in the countryside yeah. and just, like, lived a little life? Or maybe he killed himself afterwards. Like We don't know. Which I think is crazy. Like, how much we don't know. Did he find love? I want to <laughs> know. He, did he already have a family? I don't know. It's just interesting to kind of, like, make theories about... Dude, I don't think I've ever thought this hard. <laughs> Should see how much I've actually, like, <laughs> used my brain. I'm not, I'm not the smartest. So. If you guys have theories about who Jack the Ripper was or why he did what he did or anything like that, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to talk with you kind of about yeah. your thoughts. We just like retelling these stories kind of and like bringing up new thoughts and ideas because it's something that really interests us. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you guys are enjoying it too. We know it's a little rough. Yeah. We're... But like this is totally... This is our first time trying it. Like this is like... Yeah. This is all new territory for us. Like sitting down and reading from a piece of paper. And, like, like we definitely like did some research, you know. Basically yeah. um, what Ryan and Shane... Or come for you. Don't yeah. Um, they're our inspiration for yes. this. Um, but yeah, it's obviously gonna be a little rough the first couple of videos just because we don't normally sit down. And hopefully, like once everything takes off, we'll be able to like go to yeah, places. Yeah. That's like the goal. Yeah, we I wanna travel, would so love that. So if you guys like this video and you want us to eventually travel to you these gotta, places. You gotta subscribe and hit that like button. Yes. And share it with your friends. Turn on the post so notification.
Congratulations. Just follow and follow all our stuff down in the description below. Uh -huh. And like we said before, leave comments about who you think yes. Jack the Ripper was or anything like that. Or if there's any other famous murder mysteries that you guys want us to tell and talk about. I think our, what's our next one? It's going to be a female. It's the Black Dahlia. The Black Dahlia. Well, the murder of the Black Dahlia. I keep thinking Lorna Dunes, but those are cookies. So we hope you guys enjoy this and we will definitely see you next week next for a new week. video. We're sorry. Okay. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Peace.